So this is part of the herbaceous border here and uh, you can imagine that we've got something like 50 days to enjoy this and uh, there could be up to about 2,000 people at a time coming to the gardens but uh, nevertheless it's a great experience and I highly recommend a visit to Buckingham Palace Gardens. Tickets cost £16.50 for access to the gardens. There is an additional charge of £6.50 to access the Rose Garden, which I highly recommend you do if you want to just sit and take in the ambience of the place then it's perfect or why not bring a picnic. Visitors will now be able to explore the uh, gardens which is some 39 acres in size and uh, it dates back to the 1820s. This is when George IV turned Buckingham House into a palace. Although it's obviously located in central London, it is the home to a remarkable array of flora and fauna. It also has a rich biodiversity with more than a thousand trees. One of the highlights is certainly the 150 metre long herbaceous border. The rose garden has around 25 beds of roses and also to be found there is the Waterloo vase. This is a huge urn and uh, it weighs about 19 tonnes. Whilst visiting you can also walk around the three and a half acre lake. In the centre of the lake there, there are five beehives. These produce around 160 jars of honey each year and are used in the royal kitchens. In all there are around a thousand trees in the garden. These include plane trees and several different species of oaks and there are over 40 different types of mulberry trees and the palace actually hosts the national collection of mulberry trees. I've spent about three hours here in the gardens at uh, Buckingham Palace and in that time I've sat down and enjoyed a, a picnic and a, a drink and uh, just sort of taken in the overall ambience of uh, the gardens of which obviously you know the Queen and the royal family enjoy on a regular basis but uh, this is an opportunity to uh, come and see for yourself and experience a little bit of uh, life in the back garden of Buckingham Palace.